This instructional video is intended for those who have purchased our patent pending water well in a box kit, which allowed us to drill this well in two and a half hours. It is to show you step by step instructions on how to put together the pump, the well screen assembly, and how to install it into the well. Depending on which kit you've purchased, it may or may not come with drill pipe extensions. This particular kit does not. The first item we'll talk about is this blue water well auger. This is the tool we'll use to drill through the clay and sand. Before you start to drill it, it is extremely important to know what is underneath you. Drilling into a power line, a gas line, or a septic tank can all be hazardous to your health. Every time the handle gets close to the ground, you'll add your 3 quarter inch extension pipe. This drill string can become quite tall, so having a tree, the side of the house, or some other structure to lean it up against is very important to keep it from snapping. Notice the different color soils here. The darker soil on the right is clay and on the left is water bearing sand. When you start pulling up wet sand and can hear water splashing in the hole, you'll know you're getting close to your target depth. Keep drilling as deep as you can or until you have gone at least 5 feet into this watery sand. Now let's take a look at the rest of the kit. Here is the pump piston. It has an internal threaded adapter on one end and on the other end an internal riser pipe. This riser pipe will move freely but will not come out. This particular kit has numbers on it to indicate which key connections fit together. Your kit may be color coded. Either way, the same number or the same color screw together. For this video, I'm just hand tightening the connections, but you'll want to use a couple pair of pliers to ensure the connections won't come apart during use. The second section of pipe has a couple small weep holes in it to allow the water to drain out of the outer annulus to help prevent freezing. Now it's time to connect the pump foot valve to the pump piston itself. We'll do this using this threaded nipple. Again, make sure you're using a pair of pliers to tighten all these connections, including the screen on the foot valve. For the purposes of shipping, the two well screens are placed inside one another. You'll want to pull them apart, but do not cement or glue them together yet. Now you're going to take the pump piston and place it inside the larger well screen and then slide the smaller well screen over the other end. You'll slide the upper pump threads through the hole in the end cap of the smaller well screen. It's time to connect the remainder of the riser pipes to the assembly. Connect as many of these as you need to reach the bottom of your well. Making this connection here helps if you have two people, one on each end of the pipe to screw it together. However, one person can do it if they can reach both ends. You'll want to use PVC primer and PVC cement to finally connect the two well screens. Now let's add additional riser pipe sections. 
If your well is more than, say, 15 feet, you may want to consider adding these other pipe sections while you are lowering the assembly into the well. This will help prevent the pipe from snapping. To date, we've done this method down to around 50 feet by hand. The very last section is the portion that will stick out of the ground. Note that this section only has connectors on one end. This is because you may want to cut the pipe to the desired height. Just make sure that the inner pipe always sticks up a few inches higher than the outer pipe. At this point, we would actually install the assembly into the well if it's not there already. But for now, let's take a look at how the well head and pump handle attach. The well head slides over the top of the riser pipes. It's your choice if you want to cement or glue it on. You will, however, want to cement or glue the pump handle connector to the inner riser pipe. Make sure to let all connections dry before you handle them. Screw the pump handle on and you will be ready to pump. Let's step back and see what this looks like as we complete the well that we started earlier. We lower the assembly into the hole and put the well head on. Now let's put as much of the sand as we can back into the well. Now use some of the clay to help seal off the well. Dig a hole at least 2 feet in diameter and 6 inches deep all the way around the wellhead. You can fill this up with cement, which is preferred, or you can use the plastic that was provided in the well kit. It's important to seal off this area around the well to prevent contamination from above as well as from recycling muddy water over and over again through your pump. Build a little mound here. Poke a hole in the plastic, place it over the well head, and secure it using the zip tie that comes with the kit. Now cover it back up. Attach the pump handle and you're ready to go. Please know that it may take several iterations of pumping before the water clears up. It will happen faster if you dig a little trench like this to redirect the muddy pump water away from the well.